votes here. It's now 635, 1835, and we're going to be specific. All the place to work this time. Those of you who haven't seen, there is an agenda. Let's see. 
percentage wise. Yeah, joint expansion.
the shut up notices go letter, the bills go up, get right. shut shredded. So you're saying combine the back of this new thing um, to our uh, sewer district treasury report we have, which is really part of the building democracy, but we might as well cover that here. Mm -hmm. Pending balance um, is listed as 139, 149.70. Deposit since 531 is $29,599.77. Withdrawals, um, vendors checks they cleared with 13,000 plus. Payroll fees are still the standard at 17,000, almost 18,000. Current balance comes out to is currently listed at 137.940, but there's also the public investment in 311.487.56. Um, discussion about that one? None? None? Um, at this time, anything else? No All right, vote to accept those as they are. Motion? Motion. So move. Second. All right. Both? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Next on the list, schedule a meeting for the auditors to go over results. I'll let you think of that. Uh, met briefly with the auditor, Tom Dume. Um, he would like to sit down and talk with us about the results of his audit. There's two more things that have to be filed with the state. One is called the MS 535, which compares the budgeted amount with what was expended, and the auditor's certification. Um, there, was, there was a management letter draft that I reviewed that has a number of concerns that the, the auditor would like to move over with the commissioners about how the district operates or has operated in the past. And so what we'd like to do is we'd like to set up a time to have Tom Dume, our auditor, come in and discuss his audit results and his recommendations for future activity of the district financially. If there's time we can do this, can we do this during the regular meeting? I think what we need to do is probably hire we have it during the regular meeting since everybody's here, but more importantly, we need to complete the report. Oh, we schedule it. Because he may be another three, four weeks. Oh, I know. Oh, I hope not. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Great. So. Theoretically, he has all the material in order to file his reports and to finalize his audit. But I can talk with him and find out, you know, we can set up some meetings in the future tentatively and say, can you make this one? Can you make this one? Let's look at that. That's what I'm looking to. There's no point in meeting with him until he's done. Right. So why don't we find out when he's going to be done and bring that up for the next meeting? And okay. hopefully he'll know by that meeting because that's okay, huh? Okay. And I'm sure everybody wants to know what's going on. Yes. <laughs> the auditor fine. Okay. Any more discussion on that? Anybody vote on that? You good? Uh, that's just okay. advisory. We yeah. don't really have to vote on it. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Review of disposition, a disposition, not disposition, of pending purchase orders. Are there have any pending purchase orders? None? Wow. <coughs> That's good. Appreciate that. Audit letter to attorney for signature. This is when I was there reviewing the draft. We have to send a letter to our attorney, and I already put the damn stamp on it, even though we'll get it in a few moments. The audit requires that the auditor inquire of the counsel for the district whether or not there are any what are called contingent liabilities, which is anybody thinking about suing us, already trying to sue us, or somebody actively trying, actively suing us, or anything else that might be an issue of legal nature, but we don't know the value of it. Anyway, I bet you can figure out where you're going to sign. Next. 
It's a part of the summary report of presentation that Rick Pierce is going to do, which we have to schedule. But there's no full-fledged engineering study of all of this, like scoping the line. Yeah, I was going to ask if it's looking into this, knowing the whole scope of the lines and all, to tell us if it is the pipe, so whether it's the water or this filtration or what. We don't know that from what that says. That's part of the problem. Well, perhaps when we schedule right here for the presentation, we can present that as a request to find out what the engineering would be required in order to fulfill that, in order to get more detailed information. I mean, if, if we take up Willie Street pipe and replace it, the problem may be someplace else. So we can't just decide, well, okay, we'll do this and then forget the problem and make more. So we really need a, a more comprehensive engineering study. They've been at it for one year now? Well, they've been at, they've been at the asset management portion of it. But to get down into the, you know, into the weeds about, you know, where the lines, how many valves are needed, um, what's corroded and to what degree, they haven't done that. How old are the pipes? Do you know that? Yeah. Some of them yeah. are like ancient. Do you know how old the pipes are? That's in the report. Well, I, I don't have that report. I have a narrative that says some of them are. Did you get the link sent to you? Yes, I did. There and were multiple reports attached to that link. The last one was a detailed, excuse me, a detailed report. What you've got there is just the, the presentation. There was a full report on their findings. Are you referring to all the lines in front of which one of cement and vessels? Right. Okay, I saw that, yes. Mm -hmm. And I also done the figure that the sign that was over four million dollars that it was. Well, if I can you can go out for everything. I yeah, I'm talking about the I know I think that's one way to talk to right here to find out where they're coming from, find the parameters we have to deal with. And want to talk about what we have to do some of this stuff. So the next step of what right here sent you is to give them the green light on what you see for them to present their findings. They want to do a presentation, yes, we want to schedule a meeting for them to do so. And then you can ask them all the questions. That's the idea. That's yeah, the yeah. idea. Because well, I see people, people here from Willie Street, and I'm pretty sure they're concerned about this bike. Living on Logan Street, I know I am. Um, I'm sure you should be. And, but on the same token, you know, we can fix all the pipes by ripping them all up and replacing them. I'm not sure the taxpayers and rate payers in this town want to repave all these roads if they're not necessary. If they are, we're going to have to bike pull it somehow on that. But I don't have the data to make that decision right now. I recommend going through the past minutes. There's a lot of data in there. We've seen that, yes. that discusses this topic in detail. Yeah, the fact that you have to remove the fact that it's removed. Will you speak to put your uh, question in the then? I do. Come down to General Saw and take a look at it. I saved it for a reason. That, that's a good start right there. Let us, let us work on scheduling a presentation for Ray Pierce and we will clarify what's going on at that time. Anybody here from Willow Street? I don't. Okay. Locust. Locust. Don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, here. Yeah. So you mentioned yes, Prospect yeah. Yeah. in Prospect as well. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you personally until we get the full report. This has been going round and round and round and round. Um, hopefully, we'll have some answers, but you just heard the amount. It's a lot of minutes. Um, that doesn't mean it's not going to get fixed, but we sure need to know what they will fix before we just throw it in. Just so Go you ahead. guys understand. Go ahead. I just, so, is this now, right here? Sure you know what that yeah, but, okay. Is this okay. right here presentation going to give us the answers on what the proposals are? Please? Supposedly, yes. It, it may pose more questions than it answers. That's always the risk you run. It's going to give you the other things. And that will probably happen next month? Um, it's, it's, it's really coordinating. Coordinating. it's coordinating. This 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 has been I mean we've only been a few months in charge, but this has been hanging over since before I even got here. So I I'd like to see the rest. I don't care. 
I don't like it. Um, not much more I can say about that. But, I mean, anything. but even after the presentation, depending once they get signed for the scope of work that's to be done, you have to do the design drawings, put the line in, all these measuring has to be done, like the government bids. Depending on the scope of work, how large it is, but we'll probably pull the bond. Take care of it. Do that money in market. We'll take care of it. some of the money at this point in time. So you're talking about those things. We're talking about. It's not going to be a now. It's going to be a little later on. Study. That's special. Right. So by the time it goes to the state, the bond issue was already there. You know, well, it did. It'll take some time. I think everybody realizes they're going to have to dig up all of that area, which means repainting the streets and everything, and the jets additional cost. It's still a hundred bucks a foot to pave or more I think now to pay the street. So we're talking pipes, the manpower, the engineering. Um, as you say, it's, this has been a long term problem and um, I'd like to see it fixed. But again, I go ahead so you want to the question is going how felt for that and we turned on the portal well. Is there a correlation between the two since the portal well is close? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking a question. Yeah. Should we be flushing more often? Huh? You can ask the folks on Willie Street if they want me just to flush to correct the problem. We're, We're not saying have, that's going to correct the problem. We're saying we have to correct the problem. Like you told us earlier, it's just that the preliminary can get to the final thing we have to do. Well, we've, gone, we've jumped through a lot of these groups already. This is our filter and it's been in our, we changed it out completely place? white a week and a half ago. This is a week and a half of water coming in. I know, I have one more to speak to each other. You can try it, but it's got rust in it. I mean, you can smell it. You can, well, it's like, it smells it? like iron. It's it's like iron. It's metallic, yeah. It's definitely rust. It's iron breaking down. This is no question. Thank you for your time. What's the most guys that We've got to coordinate it, it with them. So I've got to contact them, set a time, and probably get this room again, or even the one next door. The question is when are they available and when are we available? Be available anytime you say we'll need it. Okay. I will not be available until on the 17th of July. Okay. A few days either way. Other than that, okay. I can make myself available. Do you have a calendar? Yes. Is that what they call them? That's what they call them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what we need to do is set a date and then announce that. Right, that's where. Really, is this a good time? You guys need to be here because it affects you. Mm -hmm. um, is this a good time of day? You can. Willie Street, Locust Street, yes, no? Yes. This is for this yes. preferred versus earlier before five. Yeah, we have a lot yeah. of young people. Okay. So okay. okay. we're talking six thirty again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. All right. That's that puts us in because it's kind of stupid if we hold it during the day and you guys are all at work. Right. Or otherwise commit it. Do you have a calendar on that thing, Clown? I'm looking for it now. You know how often I do the guy with that. I do a special phone. No. No, Christ, no. Actually, I hate to say it, but I have. Yeah. Email my folder. Cool. Calendar. There you go. Cheap and like, put like the printing on, on this stuff. June 26th. Notice we're all wearing the masks. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, we've got June 26th, okay? Now, it's a June. Let's go to July. All right. There's July. We're not doing anything on the 3rd. We can't do anything on the 24th. Well, that's budget committee. Um, one. So you got the 31st and the 10th. The 31st and 10th seem to be the best choices. That would be the best. 
21. And I'll assume, can't assume, I agree. Uh, can you do the 10th for a regular meeting? Okay. And the 31st for another meeting? Yes. Okay. So that means we're going to do an entire meeting just on the presentation from Wright Peters on the 10th. If we can get everything coordinated. We've got to be clear about that. There's a lot of moving parts here. When we post this later for the moment. We will post it as we always do downtown. And yes. And it's probably it's on the website too, isn't it? Nope. nope. We don't control the website. Okay. All right. We don't control the website. Tentatively, the tenth. Okay. And about then the thirty first. The tenth is six thirty. At 6.30 and the 31st at 6.30. And if we have a large turnout, we will be next door. Cash bar. No bar. What we're doing this. Yeah, I know. I know. <coughs> All right. Um, are we done with the discussion on this? No. No. We can't answer, but we're talking about it. Right. Ventilation of Porter Well. How's that coming? I, we got a price from HTA to come in and do a full um, drawing on the facility to with an engineer stamp, and I'm waiting on one from right here. I contacted Holland Sheet Metal up in Berwick about coming in and taking a look at it. They're Okay, so right Pierce is available at 10 to 6.30. You can make that. I just well, texted him. Okay. We're also going to ask um, Colin Sheet Metal to talk about just ventilation, just getting that corrosive atmosphere out of there, because they do that sort of thing in industrial settings. And we can just throw that in the mix and see how it goes, and it might be. So you're having them come in and give us a price? Yes, just a price, just a quote. HDA presented a price of roughly forty-two hundred. Who's HDA? Oil Tanner. Oil Tanner. Okay. I'm waiting on uh, right here to present a price. They gave us a price of a thousand dollars, but that's not a design. That's just recommendations. So I asked them to give us a price on a full design as well, so that they were asked to have. Oil Tanner's design as well. Oil Tanner is a full design, so it would be a you know full set of prints handed over to a contractor or an house to do the installation. I think that's what, what you suggested before. Um, any of the other contractors come out with <coughs> installation. Well, because, again, this is over a year and that was not the time. That was recommended. That's over two years. And, and I heard no wording to tell them that it was recommended by uh, my peers to be replaced. And it's still not done. Oh. Long before my turn. But, have you been in there and seen the place? It needs to be vented. Corroding stuff and that's costing the rate back to money. So eventually it will. Yep. So that should be a relatively reasonable fix. Right? Correct? Nope. All right. Yes. Would we like at this point now to recess to speak with our attorney? <clears throat> If you like to recess now to speak with our attorney. So, in that, we just go in the other room. Everybody's got a seat here. Well, if we recess, we're not adjourned. Okay. All right. <coughs> there we go. So, we can be resuming the meeting after your meeting with your attorney? Yes, two other items. Right, so if we adjourn, the meeting is over. If we recess, the meeting is still in place. And then we adjourn. Is it possible to cover those two items before we reset? What two items? Actually, we covered one of them. Right here, some time. Right. And the ventilation, actually. We've covered everything. We have covered everything. Okay. May I ask a question? Sure. Thank you. Um, I'm curious about the budget and whether you will provide us as members of the district with a copy of the budget. We've seen the approved budget when we voted in the 
town meeting. Are so I'm just curious. Progress budget to date. Are you talking about the progress budget to date? Oh, I'd be talking about whatever monthly budget it is presenting to the commissioners. These are also on our uh, G Suite site, and I can give you the links for them if you want them in more detail. But there you go. They're just the front page. I'm not sure I'm the only person in the room that like a copy, but the G Suite site would be great. Yep. We'll give you a shareable link if you leave your email address. I think we have it. I think probably do. Right. Okay. Sign it on one of those forms. Anything else needs to be brought up by the commission at this point? Okay, I'll make a motion to recess. I told you didn't answer. The folks that came here specifically to you, did I answer your questions as best we could? Yes? Give them a little bit of information. I mean, yeah. you don't have to go ahead. Yeah, so I, I know, so part of it is, you know, what are the different options? And I realize any option that we take, would there would be a cost impact. We to understand it. that. Too. I get that. Um, I know. I know. Previously, what six, eight, nine months ago, there was there was starting to be a plan in place to try to build some sort of capex uh, fund. Is that am I misunderstanding? Like the, the rate raise and everything, we're trying to. I thought money was starting to be put aside, not specific for Willie Street, but just for the bigger projects in general. I feel. Yeah, forgive me. I'm new. I've been to this yeah. town for five years or so. I'm trying to get the feel of things. But yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm realizing that we weren't really anticipating all these big expenses down the road, like that we're starting to see now. That's what I'm, well, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Well, your point is, well, take none of us want to spend on any of this stuff, but unfortunately, some of it is, at some point, somebody kicked a lot of this stuff down the road, yeah. long before I was ever involved in any of this. So. I don't know what the fix is other than we have to make a decision here. Because either the pipes, we need to know if the pipes have been scoped. We need to know if the pipes are actually breaking down or just the right section. I mean, who the hell wants to drink water coming through like that? Um, so or bathe their children in it yeah. or take showers in it themselves. I, I, or I live there, I know. <laughs> um, and I can always tell when the water's off because my dogs all get sick. Um, and it, you know, this has been an eternal problem for years. It kind of comes and goes depending on how the water is managed. So the bottom line is, we got to wait until we hear what the report says, and then prioritize what has to be done. What well, I, I guess, I right. guess, just generally, are are we starting to put money aside for bigger projects like these? Well, for one thing, I can tell you, the money that is there. At least we're looking and planning on that. That's first and foremost. But a lot of repairs were never done in the past. Yeah. So you got they were to deferred. They were never. It's not that we were unaware of them. Yes. It's that you had to make choices. What are you going to do? And priorities had to be determined. And so. Sometimes money got spent on other things when we were hoping to try something else. That's life. It's just like as a homeowner. Yeah. You may have said, you know, I want to redo my upstairs bathroom, and then you discover your roof is leaking. So you have to switch your priorities. Well, it happened to us too. I guess I'm just trying to understand, is there like a long-term vision for how we're going to address? I'm sure Willie Street's not the only street oh, this no. is going to come yeah. up on. <laughs> Definitely so, not. And I, I just feel as though there's not really, I'm not hearing like a concrete, you know, we have a plan, we're starting to put money aside, we're going to raise rates slowly over over time or something like that. I'm not, well, I'm those not, rates are already in rates, but part of the problem has been that your priorities have shifted continuously. And, you know, repairs on things, your road isn't very low. And yet, that stuff went to help. Yeah. I mean, I remember when the houses were built there, and I had just moved here. There weren't any houses there. And now, you already got the pipes of crap. You know, that's a reason to be upset. But part of the problem has been, people need to spend the money, but on the same token, you brought up the same point I did. The Rollinsman Water and Sewer, out of four towns that I own property in, Rollinsman Water and Sewer is the most expensive. So the goal is to try to get this at a reasonable rate so that it's more in line with other places. But part of that is 
I can't speak for what occurred long before we got up there for what, three months, I guess now, so, I'm going to try to get a handle on that and try to focus the money where it's most needed. Is the money there? Um, we're on budget, we're not over budget, and so that's the good news. Um, as you heard Juan say, this is probably going to take a long time to do that. You just heard in the report, we spent the $28,000 bond, wasn't it? They all fell out. Oh, no, we, we spent $28,000 in principal and $12,000 in, in interest. interest. Just, just this, on this budget cycle. Mm -hmm. right. So, I mean, some of this is catch up. And I wish I could tell you it's going to go faster. So give us a little little town. When you go back in the ground in the village, that predates standardization of the gauges on piping. I found that out when we did the sewer project back in the 80s and 90s. And they're not according to the drawings of the music to get them marked up. Because every time they say mark a location, you can dig in for a new sewer line and get a lot of time. So a lot of stuff isn't quite right where it's at. We have to select, right, relief, project, whatever. But we have to do the members are going to work on it. So we're going to attack that call and get that done and turn on the ones on that one. If we try to take on the whole thing, we won't have enough money. And then we well, have that's the, just um, the distribution system. But you also got the collection system, the, excuse me, the uh, wells to do as well. We have crop problems in those areas that take care of as well. We also have the wastewater treatment plant, things to do. So, I think we have enough money in our box to do it all at once. We're going to say one second at a time, do it to the best of our ability, and do it right now. And then we'll move on to something else. We have to make it affordable because otherwise you should be paying. You might as well buy bond with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Entire email I see. Have you ever received a preliminary email report? With multiple links in it? From right here. I looked at it, I read it, we're still reading portions of this now, but it's their preliminary, it's not the final. Well, the final, will be, the final that? Will, be, will be presented when they have the meeting. <coughs> the reason we requested the preliminary is so we get abreast of what's going on and understand something what's going on within the system. Is it, is it private? Is it private information? No, it's not no, private. No. If you no. want it, we'll send you the link. Okay, thank you. Give us your email address. We'll send you the link, and you can try to digest it. If I it's have it's a degree in chemistry, so I think that's not the parse it. This is engineering. Oh yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not smart enough. <laughs> oh no no. That no, was just today. And my concern about. The school, which is located in kind of a risky environment, with that they're getting the same water off the same pipes, and the people who live there. And I'm, I said I don't count because I'm up the street from Willie. But my concern, so my question is, I'm concerned about how long you drag this out and how much it becomes a health risk. So my question for you is, you know, he just said his dogs can get I, sick when he drinks the water. When they drink the water, yeah. that's not so a health risk. It, it, it does but it changes. It changes when. The water's been managed. So I had, a, I had a sort of a, I had a question to maybe support this next step of the process. When you bring Mike Pierce in, would it be possible for you commissioners to get information about what it would take to get a bond issue in combination with some kind of rate increase? I understand right, that right Pierce is not the bond bond issue. Okay, okay, wait a minute. We're going back and forth and back and forth. I've done bonding. And I can tell you now, there are constraints on the district because we're so small, all right? We can't bond as much as it has been bonded. We simply cannot. Then we raise rates. No, you can't raise rates in order to cover it. You are statutorily limited to how much you can borrow. And it's 1% of the assessed value within the district. I checked that out with DRA today. And it looks like it's about $978,000, which is not much 
And that would have to include the bonds we are currently carrying at 978. So we don't have a lot of borrowing capacity. And so you can raise the rates from now till you know October. You still can't bond past that point. They will limit us. The bonds not the only option. You can go with the state revolving fund, okay. which is the direction we've been going. Also, stop, 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 stop. it does hey, the same thing. It doesn't we've require had the same. If you need to bring something up, and it's technical for this, this is not impertinence to your job. And frankly, I've said this before. You're, you're not a resident, nor are you. So going forward, forward and don't ask me questions during the meeting that you want answered if you're not interested in having the information I have to bring forward. Because well, I can help all the folks on Willow Street understand the direction. I, I think we need to go to the recess. All right. I, I have one last question. My name's Jesse Edelman, Where and I live on 10 Stevens Court. Okay. My name was called out last week in the meeting. It was the only name called out. Uh, I don't know the whole legality of it, but I was a little insulted. Um, and if we're going to be doing this, let's call out all the names. Well, let's call out people who are not paying their property taxes, too. By the way, that's okay, public stop, information. Stop. Okay. It's all public information. All right, so why didn't we call out everybody? Why just First me? All, I, I never heard you. Okay. It's on video. I can pull it up right now if you want. I don't doubt, I don't doubt it's there. You were sitting right there. I, I was sitting. Okay. But it was him that called it out, the guy on the left. But part of it was, and the comment was made again today, that everyone's name is supposed to be on the list. Okay. I so why was name. my name called out in a public meeting and no one else's? That's the question. Okay. For him. Okay. For okay. you on the end. Okay. Let's, let's cut this off and move on. With, well, so, on. So I have to get my lawyer involved, you're saying? We'll, we'll make sure that in the future everyone's name is cut. I already told you. He did this, I saw this today, and it's part of the public record. Okay. It's supposed to all be there. So if anybody's name is on there, it's supposed to be there. But you're calling them out at public meetings? It's part of the public people. But you're calling them out because I, I was the only one called out. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, let's right. move on. Let's move okay, on. so I'll get, I'll get to my lawyer then. Thank you. Okay. Um, at this point, again... No, no, recess. Recess.